Hi, everyone. Um, so I personally like to garden a lot. And um, part of our whole entire step towards being healthier and, and more organic is uh, we have a, a couple plots of uh, garden plots in our backyard where we like to grow a lot of our, our fresh vegetables for the, the year. Um, so you want to take a look here. Uh, this is some of the stuff that I got going on. Um, we got some kale and some cantaloupe and squash and lettuces and tomatoes and peppers. Um, so one of the big things this year is that uh, we got a newborn in the house and, and we like to make our own baby food. And so that's what the, the squashes are for and things like that. Um, and a lot of people tend to think that gardening's pretty difficult or whatnot. And, and I'm just, I just want to let you guys know it's, it's pretty simple, um, but it could get expensive if you're going out there and buying um, the, the little plants that are, are pretty much grown already for you, and then all you have to do is pop them into the ground. Um, it's much more uh, financially, it, it's much better just to buy the seeds themselves and to plant them into these things. Um, so you can buy these trays uh, for... I think we bought this one for five dollars, and um, you just put some dirt in it. Um, I can get the mix that I uh, I use. Um, it's this right here. Uh, you can get any kind of mix that you want, um, and it's the seed starting mix, and you put it in there. Um, and with this many that you have, you can put one seed or two seed in each uh, little container thing and um, you just water it and let it grow. Uh, within about seven to ten days you should see um, the seed starting to sprout and then within maybe a couple more weeks you should um, have the first true leaves kind of sprout out from that and, and you are on your way to uh, having your own garden. Um, so let me uh, let me take a second and I'll, I'll kind of cover these with uh, some seeds, and then we'll um, come right back. How it, how it kind of looks, um, how we did it was that we um, we put the dirt in, and then we put some like little divots by pushing our fingers in, and then it got the, um, put the seeds, and we put it in there, and, and then now we're going to cover the seeds with a little bit of dirt. Um, and if you notice, I put... Uh, like letters and numbers at the top. This is the, the letter is for uh, this tray and the numbers for the, the row that it's on. Um, and that way it goes along with uh, my list of uh, seeds and I kind of can tell what um, what is in each pot or what is in each spot before I uh, plant it. Uh, because as they sprout it's kind of hard to tell which kind of plant you have. Okay, um, just to wrap this up, we, uh, we took some more of that soil and we put it on top um, and then we kind of patted it down. Um, and one of the things that I've figured out is that uh, if you go at this point and you, uh, you start watering it, the, uh, the dirt is kind of fluffy and it'll just like come up and you get this big, huge, muddy mess. Um, and a big thing that you want to do with uh, seedlings like this is that you want to encourage them to uh, sprout their roots down um, so that when you plant them, uh, the roots are, are deeper um, and will create a, a better plant for you. So how I've, I've managed to do that is uh, these packets, it comes in these two little things that has a little um, insert like that. You can take the insert out and then you have a little tray on the inside. Um, so you take some water, you pour it into the tray, um, and you want the water to be high enough so that it kind of goes up about halfway on the seeds. Um, and then after that, you just drop it into there, um, and then the water will start soaking into the soil, um, and then the seeds will become in, put into this damp, moist uh, soil environment, and then it will start to grow, and you don't have this mud pile all over the place because you're pouring water into the loose soil. Um, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys found this video interesting and, and try out gardening yourself. Uh, it's always better to eat out of your own garden than to get something from a supermarket and not knowing where it came from. 
But until next time, see you guys.